Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. About a year ago, I posted a video showing how to free up disk space using Storage Sense on Windows 10. And that was how to free up disk space using the built in Storage Sense utility found in Windows 10, which is also available on Windows 11. And that previous video was posted prior to the Windows 11 operating system um, rolling out. So I will leave a link to uh, the Windows 10 video in the description. And I thought it's time just to do an updated video as the same utility, the Storage Sense uh, Disk Cleanup tool is available um, on Windows 11, as many of you may know. And I thought I'd just do this quick video in case you're unaware how to free up disk space automatically using the Storage Space um, utility on Windows 11. When your computer runs low on drive space and that obviously means that you can enable storage sense to monitor and delete those unnecessary files and temporary files automatically on windows 11 and the process is very similar on both windows 10 and 11. now to get to storage sense on windows 11 in case you're unaware just head to your settings menu and on the system page just look for storage click on that and um as mentioned in that previous Windows 10 video, you can manually uh, clean up temporary and junk files using Storage Sense. And the process is very similar on both Windows 10 and 11. So as mentioned, I'll leave that previous video um, on, on Windows 10 Storage Sense in the description as it will also take you through the steps on how you can uh, delete the, your temporary files to free up disk space manually. But for today, we're going to concentrate on freeing up um, automatically freeing up space, deleting temporary files and managing locally available cloud content, how to do that automatically um, on Windows 11 and um, to, to free up your disk space automatically on Windows 11, you need to toggle Storage Sense on, which is off by default. And then you click on that setting, which will take you to the Storage Sense page where this needs to be checked. Keep Windows running smoothly by automatically cleaning up temporary system and app files. And then, as mentioned, we've turned on automatic user content cleanup and it says Storage Sense uh, runs when disk space is low. We clean up enough disk space to help your system run at its best. And then it'll tell you how much of disk space it has cleaned up in the last month. Mine says naught bytes because I prefer to do and clean up my temporary files manually. But this is very handy in case you just want to, um, you know, just forget about cleaning up junk and temporary files. And you can just toggle this feature on um, on both Windows 10 and 11 uh, just to forget about the whole process. So this will just do it automatically for you in the background. Then you can configure your cleanup schedules. So there are a couple of options here. And the first is run storage sense uh, during low uh, free disk space, which is the default setting. And you can change that to every day, every week, or every month. Delete files in my recycle bin if they have been there for over. And then 30 days is default. One day, 14 days, 60 days are the other options. And then delete files in my downloads folder if they haven't been opened for more than. And never is default. And I actually suggest leaving it at default, the others are one day, 14 days, 30 days, 60 days, but I suggest leaving this at, at default as you could have important files that you do download into your downloads folder. And then if you have this toggle on that um, will automatically delete those files. So maybe just leave this set to never and then go check your downloads folder um, on a regular basis. And then once that's all set up and um, you basically just forget about it and that will clean up your system according to your cleanup schedules that you have configured to your own choice and preference for you automatically in the background. And then, of course, if you want to run the whole feature now, you can just run Storage Sense now and that will just do a manual cleanup for you. So that's how you automatically uh, clean up your junk and temporary files on Windows 11. And the process is very similar on Windows 10. And as mentioned, I will leave a link to that previous video and posted about a year ago on how to free up disk space using storage, using storage sense on Windows 10 in the description uh, below. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.